In this video, I'm going to take you along as I bring some supplies from Seattle all the way to Trunconis. So I hope you watch along and learn about how you can help the Surfers for Strays Rescue Center. So people bring all sorts of different supplies down to Mexico, but I'm going to show you what I will be bringing on this trip. However, please remember that what we need does change, and so the best way to be helpful is to ask us directly what you can bring and what we are currently lacking so that you can buy or fundraise for those items specifically. The first thing I'm going to be bringing is toys, lots of toys. I have toys that can easily be washed and cleaned and aren't going to be ripped up the day they arrive at the rescue center. Pretty much can always count that we'll want toys or our dogs will want toys. The next thing I'm bringing is some promotional materials. So I'm bringing um, these stickers and some pamphlets. Um, most likely you won't be bringing down those supplies, but since I'm on the communications team, I'm going to bring these down so that they can pass them out at the farmer's market. So similarly, Surface for Strays was all out of our special Surface for Strays leashes that we have um, for our dogs down in Mexico that say, adopt me, and they have Surface for Strays website. Um, so I talked to another volunteer who was able to print these and then ship them to me, and so I'm bringing down like 20 of these leashes um, to be distributed amongst the different dogs down there. Especially in LA and San Diego, we have different donation boxes and just generally donated materials that get kind of built up until we find somebody to bring them down. So we have a bunch of these collars that I'm gonna bring down. And then the other thing I'm bringing is since I'm working with a volunteer in Mexico named Ava, shout out to Ava, she told me that her dog doesn't like chicken and so I'm bringing some special treats for her dog. Now, if you're a Surface for Strays super fan, you may have noticed this new shirt that I'm wearing. Now, it hasn't been launched yet, but I'm actually bringing down a whole batch of these shirts so that Ava and I can do a little merch promo photo shoot and launch them. So by the time this video is up and you're watching this, these shirts will be available for purchase. So be sure to check that out. Buy a shirt, support a dog. The other thing that we often need that I'm actually not bringing down this time, but my stepdad brought down is towels. We always need towels. So. The towels we use get really dirty, really gross, so if you have old towels that you don't need or you can go to Goodwill and maybe just buy some lightly used towels, we always need towels. Metal bowls, that's a big one. We always need more harnesses, leashes, collars, so if you have your dog's old harnesses, maybe they outgrew them, maybe you just kept buying new ones and now you have too many, whatever the case may be, if you have extra, feel free to bring them down and donate them to a dog who maybe doesn't have a collar. If you've decided that you want to bring down supplies, but you're trying to figure out where to get supplies from, then there are two main ways you should know to collect supplies. One is buying supplies yourself or getting people in your community to donate supplies to you. The other way is to reach out to a Surface for Strays volunteer near you, most likely a foster coordinator, and see if they have supplies that they need brought down. Okay, so now that you've collected all your supplies, you have to figure out how you're gonna take those supplies down to Mexico. Now for me, I'm just packing them into my suitcase. Um, I have a big suitcase and it's not that much stuff, so it's gonna fit just fine. But when my stepdad went down, we actually had a crate and we often need crates brought down to Mexico. So that might also be the same scenario for you. And in that case, we just filled the crate full of everything we could fit in there and he put it under the plane. So those are the most common ways that people bring down supplies to the rescue center. It does cost money to put a bag under the plane, but in that case, we considered it a donation. Most people just consider that a donation, um, but if you, are only willing to do it if you are reimbursed, you should talk to a Surface for Strays volunteer before you bring it down. Um, so don't expect to be reimbursed upon bringing the supplies there. I'm on my way to the airport to go down to Troncones to visit all the volunteers and all the dogs for the first time. And I'm really, really excited.
Ava and I forgot to film when we took all the different stuff that we brought, or I brought down out of the bag. Um, cause we were unloading it and putting it away. But I thought I would show you the puppies playing with their new toys. They're kind of hot, so they weren't playing a lot, but they're playing a little bit now. Cause they're, I don't know if you can see this, they're in front of the fan. <laughs> so they have more energy. There's one in my lap too. I don't know, there you go. Um, yeah, so if you bring down supplies, then you get to watch all the stuff you bring down get put to good use and be enjoyed by adorable little dogs. Pretty rewarding experience. Okay. Here is a video of all of the stuff that we're going to try to load up with Maddie to take down to Mexico. Supplies have been donated, medical supplies, towels, blankets, crates, medication, dog food, 